How's it going gamers? I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, the last couple of days have been quite chaotic, uh, so regardless of what platform you guys are playing on, I hope that for the few that are looking to get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X that you guys were able to secure the systems of your choice, uh, maybe one or the other, or maybe even both. But let's uh, close out the week uh, with another console launch. Nintendo is bringing Retro back with the release of the Super Mario uh, Game & Watch. Uh, now this system uh, just launched today, the uh, day of my recording. It's uh, Friday the 13th and it closes out a week of um, a, an amazing time to game. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go and unbox uh, the Super Mario Game & Watch and kind of um, take a look at it and see uh, what Nintendo did to celebrate Super Mario Brothers, right? I mean, this game launched, um, you know, back in the uh, mid 80s and resurrected the gaming industry. Uh, but Game & Watch has been around even before then. So uh, I don't know if uh, for the few that are as old as I am, I uh, don't, don't know if you guys remember um, playing games on the Game & Watch, uh, but I, I certainly do. Uh, and then, you know, from uh, from the popularity of the Game & Watch uh, in the U.S., you know, there was other uh, similar clones, such as Tiger Electronics. Uh, I remember uh, having a Tiger Electronics uh, game, I believe it was Double Dragon, either one or two. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was fun times. But yeah, let's go ahead and unbox uh, this Mario Game & Watch and see what Nintendo did. So the box really surprised me because, um, you know, it's um, definitely um, a lot smaller than I thought it was. Um, but, uh, you know, it's definitely held down uh, by two tape on each side. Uh, and it kind of overlaps over to the actual uh, plastic cover. Uh, so make sure that you guys uh, slice it, you know, fairly carefully on each side. Uh, and then once you do that, uh, and you see here I'm trying to slice the, uh, the second side here because I thought it was only being held up by one side of the box, but no, the, the tape actually uh, is covering on both sides. Because because the cover, slip cover is clear, I, I didn't know if the, the seal tape was inside the box and then you can slip the cover out or not uh, without cutting the tape, but uh, but yeah, they, they put the, uh, the tape over the slip cover as well too. So as you remove the slip cover, you realize that the uh, you know, the uh, honoring Mario Brothers on here uh, is really cool. They, re Nintendo, um, you know, they paid attention to detail. So uh, they uh, they definitely printed some really cool uh, artwork in the front, uh, you know, Super Mario World 1-1 classic. Um, and then if you flip it over, uh, you'll see Bowser on the back side. So, you know, the glory days of the 8-bit, um, you know, video game era, and uh, definitely a very nice little touch to have a slip cover uh, to go over the actual system box. So with this, uh, we'll just go ahead and open up the side here, and you can kind of see there's a little uh, a special thank you uh, to you from Nintendo, um, and you know, picture of Mario in the game uh, ball where he's just juggling a couple of balls. Uh, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> so USB-C cable, uh, go ahead and remove that. Uh, don't really uh, need that. Uh, I'm glad that the system does support USB-C. Uh, go ahead and pull the rest of the unit out. Uh, most likely if it's packed like their previous Nintendo systems like the Game Boy, the system should be in here. Uh, yep, it's on the opposite side. Looks like there's a uh, protective bag over it, so I'm going to open up uh, very carefully not to damage it because I do like to save uh, my boxes. Um, so this particular system, I was contemplating on buying it and not opening it up and keeping it as a collector's edition, but you know what though, um, you know, I, I want to open it up and, and take a look at it. So we'll do this right now. So here we go. Uh, let's remove it from the cover and it is uh, super light, uh, definitely uh, very good quality build. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm just you know, I'm trying to give you guys a couple angles and then there it is, the USB-C port on the right side and then the power button is right above it uh, you know you have your uh, standard d-pad a b and the three buttons on top uh, which is your game your time and your pause and set uh, there you go the screen just turned on wow you know what this screen is an amazing screen um i didn't you know what? this yeah i wasn't expecting this <laughs> so this screen looks really 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 good Hopefully this shows up on the video, but yeah, this screen that Nintendo put into the game and watch 
is very high quality. It's uh, very bright, very sharp. And uh, keep in mind, I mean, Mario ran at a very low resolution, so it's probably not going to cost them that much to get a low resolution LCD screen. But this screen is bright. I mean, you can play this. Uh, I mean, granted, I'm inside my, my little lab here. And uh, already, you know, without any type of brightness control, this thing is like super, super bright. Uh, so I, I won't be able to test it outdoors until tomorrow. Uh, but as far as I can see, and I'm looking at all the angles from left to right and up to down, top to bottom. And uh, definitely you have more viewing angles going left to right. Um, you know, vertically, when you go top to bottom, you lose a little bit of viewing angle. But, but yeah, no, I mean, I am super impressed with this. This is... Uh, very good quality screen. I mean, this is almost, uh, this is, I think it's better than a lot of those uh, modification screens that you see out there uh, for the Game Boy, the original Game Boy and the Game Gear, uh, and even the, uh, the Turbo Express. Uh, they, they all have very similar screen size and you gotta mod the screen to adjust to it. But uh, man, the screen quality on this is a lot better than those, uh, in my personal opinion. Um, so man, yeah. Uh, totally shocked by just uh, just looking at this. Uh, it's uh, definitely amazing, and hopefully I'm gonna capture some more through this unboxing, so you guys can kind of see uh, the screen in action. Like I said, I think in person you're gonna be much more impressed than what you're seeing on video. So uh, so yeah, if uh, if you get a chance to pick one up, man, $49.99. This is a great deal. Uh, you get Mario Brothers One uh, and Mario Brothers Two, which is the lost levels. And you get the, uh, the the game ball, right? Which is just a game and watch game. But the uh, the unit itself uh, works as a alarm clock as well too. So uh, definitely really cool here. So after the unboxing of the game and watch, I was uh, playing around with it a little bit more, and I wanted to kind of show the size uh, of the game and watch and compare it against uh, some of the uh, portable systems that I have. Uh, so you know, have fun viewing. Uh, the videos I've compared it with several systems that I've owned. Um, I do have more portable systems, but I just grabbed a handful of units to kind of throw it up against a game and watch to compare. Uh, now, one thing that I found really cool as I was playing through this uh, is that the uh, game and watch actually offers a quick resume. So when you hit the game button, you uh, pick the three games that you want to play: either Mario One, Two, uh, the Lost Levels, or the Game Ball. And uh, at any time, you can pause your game, hit the game button. And it'll actually pause it automatically, and you can switch in between games, and uh, and you're right back where you left off. So it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, again, you can do a lot of uh, save states with emulation, but the fact that you know when you hit the game button and you switch from game to game, it'll just pause your game and it'll put you back into the previous game. So I thought that was really cool. So, hey Xbox, you're not the only one with Quick Resume. The uh, Game and Watch has a Quick Resume feature too, and it works really really fast. So it was really cool there. Uh, other than that, I, I think uh, overall very impressed with the screen quality and uh, it's amazing uh, with technology nowadays that uh, the screen quality here on this particular unit, Nintendo really uh, didn't really have to do this, uh, but the fact that they put a really good qual quality screen on the Game & Watch makes this an even more premium product and a, a, definitely a collector's edition. And the fact that USB-C, again, it's going to make this easy uh, to charge up since I have so many USB-C uh, devices around the house uh, yeah other than that guys uh, highly recommend it if you guys uh, have the chance to pick one up $49.99 uh, this is a uh, amazing price and from the looks of this the quality of the screen and what Nintendo did with this Game & Watch uh, Super Mario Brothers edition to play uh, to you know give um, you know honor to the Game & Watch series uh, you know I see huge potential here for Nintendo to make a Game Boy Classic system. Uh, like, like you know, with a bigger shell, like a Game Boy shell or even a Game Boy Color shell, having the capacity to put in a bigger battery, they can easily have a portable Game Boy Classic. You don't even want to call that a mini. You just want to make a full size version of a Game Boy. Call it the, the, the Classic Game Boy and use this screen because this screen size is the exact same size as the Game Boy, uh, uh, regular Game Boy screen. And yeah, and, and have it play both Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on it, um, you know, loaded up, already preloaded, they would make a killing, you know? So who knows? Maybe, you know, the next classic system is going to be a Game Boy Classic like all the rumors were a couple of years ago. Uh, but the fact that the Game & Watch, uh, it just gives me high hopes that, you know, Nintendo will have a classic Game Boy edition coming out in the future. Uh, and that would be cool. 
that that would be super super cool and uh, you know maybe others will follow suit you know I think Sega uh, that little micro game gear nah if, if, you, if Sega saw this game and watch I mean come on Sega I release a, a game gear a proper game gear classic with a bigger screen uh, with some games on it and yeah you would make a killing as well too don't you know that that stupid little micro game gear I don't know what they were thinking of because it's not gonna fly here um, and um, and I again I, I have high hopes that Nintendo will do the right thing and I'm crossing my fingers that we'll get a Game Boy Classic sometime in the future uh, I'm also a huge uh, Turbo Graphics fan so you know uh, you know Konami you know if, if you guys helped release the Turbo Graphics you know classic or the PC Engine Classic in other areas, you can definitely do a Turbo Express uh, Classic unit, you know, and load up all those same games, but now you, somebody can take it portable. They don't have to plug it into a TV, right? Uh, and again, uh, you know, the back then, all the handhelds had very similar size screens, so it would be, you know, interesting to see what the future of classic systems in the past, um, you know, get resurrected, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, guys. As an avid gamer, an old school gamer, this is uh, super cool. And, and again, I, I give my highly recommendations. If you guys can pick one up, pick one up and uh, enjoy. Even though, it's, again, it's it's Mario, you know, and Mario's always been a classic. So, with that, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, place your comments. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, uh, like or dislike, so uh, it lets me know uh, what kind of content you guys like. So I thought it would be cool to uh, unbox uh, the the final console of launch week. Uh, with the Nintendo Game and Watch, uh, the Super Mario Edition. Uh, so with that, guys, have a great week and keep gaming.